Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Love Means. In our scriptures, John's second epistle. This letter is from John the Elder. I am writing to the chosen lady and to her children whom I love in the truth, as does everyone else who knows the truth, because the truth lives in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace which come from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, will continue to be with us who live in truth and love. How happy I was to meet some of your children and find them living according to the truth, just as the Father commanded. I'm writing to remind you, dear friends, that we should love one another. This is not a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Love means doing what God has commanded us, and He has commanded us to love one another, just as you heard from the beginning. The much-beloved Apostle John writes to the Chosen Lady. That's a code word for the church he pastored while in Ephesus. He tells the believers there to love one another. That one word, love, could mean a lot of things. In popular culture of the 21st century, the word evokes images of a far different meaning than that to which John referred. When writing these devotionals, I hunt for an image to use as a title base, something which conveys some of the thoughts central to the scripture. For today, I typed in the word love, and within three-tenths of a second, I had 482 pages of images from which to choose. Each page had around 100 images. Do the math. If I looked at them all to make a selection, it would have been more than a week from next Friday before I even wrote word number one on the page. Even more problematic is that most of the images would have been rated PG at best. My choice of search filter for my computer won't even show me the more lurid ones. The point of all that is that our current popular culture's idea of love centers around romanticism, a far cry from what John urged for his congregation. But even when you make that distinction, not romantic love but God's love, there's a disconnect about what the apostle means, thus having 40,000 pictures from which to choose. So, let's be clear. John doesn't mean we should lust like uncontrollable animals. He's not referring to sappy flowers and balloons, tear-jerking feelings. And he's certainly not into Hallmark movie size of everything will be just fine and dandy. John is full-on describing the way God dies for us, laying down his life, spilling his blood so that we can live forgiven and joyful. When the Apostle says we should love one another, he's pointing to the command to be obedient to God's command to live in truth with each other, humbly accepting each other as part of the same family. He's calling us to a lifestyle of unconditionally doing what is best for each other, even if it hurts, is inconvenient, or costly. Most of us respond, but who can live like that? short answer is Jesus. When John says love one another, he's saying be like the one you chose to follow. For you today, it's hardly ever easy strapping on a towel and carrying a basin to wash another's feet. But if you claim the name, it's time to get in the game. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.